today, I'm doing a Minecraft mob battle with my friend Laugh. But whatever mobs we craft come to life. For example, if I craft myself, I'll spawn into our world. Oh my gosh, look, it's me. This is going to be insane. So make sure you subscribe and keep watching to the end because I have a really OP boss I'm going to craft. Wait, KJ, did you just build another one of yourself? Yeah, I, I just crafted myself. That's so crazy. But it's not for the mob battle, so... All right, KJ, do you know what this device is right here? That's our crafting table. It's our super special ultimate crafting table that allows us to craft any mob we want. Speaking of, do you want some tacos? Oh, yeah, yeah, give me some tacos. Here you go. Watch out, they're really spicy, though. Oh, God, they're, okay. They're searing. Oh, they are. <laughs> there are particles around you, KJ. Oh, no. Okay, Is, is that coming out of my are mouth? Are you good at crafting? Um, yeah, yeah, I am good. It's not that difficult. Okay, well, let's put that crafting to the test in this mob battle. So, is there any final words you want to say before we start? Oh, you are going down. I have some crafting recipes that are going to completely destroy your army. Really, KJ? Oh, yeah. I have a super secret boss idea. Wait, what? Well, lucky for you, I've got two super secret boss ideas. Oh, no. Okay, I'm going to have to hope I can beat those. Bye, KJ! I'm gonna drop some tacos on the way out! Oh, uh, now I have to clean those up! Okay, now that we've cleaned up those tacos, let's get to crafting. We're gonna craft our first mob. And for our first mob, we are gonna craft a Crimson Ent. So, to craft every single mob, we are gonna need some sort of heart. So for this one, we're gonna use a soul heart, which is gonna make it come to life! And then it's a crimson ant, so we're going to want to type in crimson for the crimson blocks. And we're going to use crimson stems. We're going to use crimson nylium and crimson fungus and crimson roots. And then because the ant has some like glowing bits, we're going to use some glowstone to make those. And there we go. That should be all the different parts of a crimson ant. So now if we go into our table, we have this massive crafting table that we can use to make our big mob, the crimson ant. So let's start off the crimson ant by doing the legs. We want to do it to this slot and then round and then sort of down here. And that's the legs. And then we have this bit sort of coming up here and then round here, down. It's going to be the arms of our ant and then we have its head which is just going to be like this and cross like that and let's do the glowstone bits so it glows down here and then in its head its eyes are going to glow and that are all the glowy bits and then we have a crimson fungus here and a crimson fungus here and then crimson roots because they're sort of on its shoulder and along its back and then inside is sort of some crimson nylium sort of round here and then we have our soul heart and that is a crimson ant crafting recipe so now if we close our crafting table and close our eyes and spin around then our mob should appear so we're gonna close the crafting table and see if our mob spawned in Three, two, one. Oh my god, a crimson ant's here! Oh my god, it worked so well! Okay, we have one crimson ant, and then I see an alpha yeti boss boss, so... Oh, it's gonna be a difficult battle! Okay, uh, it seems like Laugh's probably ready if he spawned that in, so let's get into a call with him and start the round. Hello, KJ! Hello, I see you spawned in a boss! I have! I have spawned in the coolest yeti! But I was gonna spawn in more, and then I accidentally, well, not me, my Yeti destroyed my crafting table. What, your Yeti destroyed your table? Yeah, so I can't spawn in more than one this round, but I might next round. Okay, well, I only have one of my mobs, so it's gonna be a 1v1. Alrighty, well, can I see your crafting recipe? Sure, sure, come over to my side, take a look. Oh my gosh, what is this? This is a crimson ant. Wait, how did you? Oh, that's genius. And you even got the lights and everything. That's so cool. I want to see All your right. recipe. I'm flying over. I'm flying over. Uh, um, my recipe kind of broke. Oh, uh, well, well, how did you do it? I put my recipe. Oh, I used, 
I used a lot of ice, I used a lot of snow, and then I added some Yeti fur, and then for the ears, I think I used some sort of light blue troll box, and yeah! Okay, well that's that seems pretty smart. It does look like an icy, snowy mob. Well, are you ready to drop the wall? Yeah, I'm ready, I'm ready. Okay. Alright, KJ, I'm putting the wall down in three, two, one, go! Go on, Ant. Go, go, go! Oh my goodness, KJ. It is literally fire versus ice. This is crazy. Oh my god, I won! Wait, that's not fair, KJ. No, no, no. I totally won. It just got knocked straight off. No, 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 no. That's no. an you instant KO like that. Instant KO! No, 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 no. I'm gonna push your mob off the map and they're gonna continue the fight when they get down there. My mom's gonna die from that fall. Well, then you'll be the loser. No, 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 that's not fair. Let's go, continue the fight. Oh my God, come on, you can win. Yes, throw ice, it's a fire mob. There's no way it wins. My oh, mom it's so slowed down. down, this is so unfair. Wait, why is my mom crying? Oh my God, your mom sits and cries. That gives me a chance to get closer. <laughs> hey, no, there's no chance. Come on, keep going. Oh my gosh! Come on, Ant, come on! Oh, I can't get close to ice! Yes, the ice is doing damage! Let's go, Alpha Yeti! Keep slamming the ground, come on! Get closer! Come on. Do damage! Hit it with ice, hit it with ice! You got this! How much help does Yes, 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 get the hits in! Have? This isn't fair, my mom knocks it further away! How much health does your mob have, KJ? I have no idea, but it's clearly a lot. It's taken a lot of hits. My mob was just trying again. Oh my goodness, KJ. Please, I really hope mine can kill yours. Uh, I got a big health advantage with that fall. Come on, it's being attacked by all the frost particles. Oh no, you have the range. Yours has got to be close to dying, KJ. No way, no way. Come on, catch up. Oh no, I oh, got picked no. up. Come on, Yeti. No. Yeah. Uh, put down in the comments if you think I still won. Hey, don't comment that. Comment down saying laughed one because no, I no, obviously no. KJ won. won. That. KJ won. No, KJ did not win. Look how low that health bar is. I totally should have won. Oh, uh, well, let's so start round two. All righty, let's head to round number two. Okay. Now that we're in the crafting stage, let's clear our inventory of the crafting stuff from last time, except for the soul heart, because we are going to use that again. And this time we are going to be crafting a goblin knight. And the funny thing about the goblin knight is it's actually two goblins in a knight costume stacked on top of each other. So for this crafting recipe, we are going to need some knight metal, because that is what the knight's armor is made out of. And we're going to use some lime wool for the green on the goblins. And it has like a belt with a buckle. So we're going to get some leather and some gold. And then we need blue wool for the pants. And then I think we have nearly everything. Oh, I forgot it's weapon. So we're going to have the spear because it holds a spear. And then a shield because it also uses a shield to defend itself and here we go let's clear out our recipe from last time really quick just double click all this get rid of this and let's get to crafting so right at the very bottom we are going to make the legs and that is going to be lime wool we are then going to make the pants which is the blue wool and this belt buckle there we go and then the most of this is it going to be its armor, which is all night metal ingots. And then up here, we got the helmet with its little horns that come out. Oh no, I messed up the recipe. There we go. And then three ingots across the top. And that is the helmet. And if we just do this real quick, we can get the arms coming out the side. And in the arm is a spear. And in the other arm is some night metal. And then we're going to put our soul heart in the middle there to give it some life. And now that we've finished the recipe, if we turn around, we should see a goblin knight. Okay, three, two, one. Oh my God, look, there it is. And if we look at it, we got the leather pants, the belt buckle, and the armor, the spear shield. And if we look really close, we can see that one goblin is down here. 
And there is another goblin in the helmet. It's kind of hard to see. But there are two goblins, and they actually have separate health pools. So technically, we are kind of cheating. We actually have two mobs in one. And Love's going to have no idea because they're hidden. Okay. So now that we're ready, let's quickly look at our recipe again and compare it to this mob. Look at how good my recipes are. And let's get into a call with Love and see if he's ready too. Hello, KJ. Hello, Love. Are you done? I'm finished, but I want to see your crafting recipe first this time. Or wait, no, I saw it first last time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And last time you didn't have a table, so I want to see. <laughs> okay, come over and check out mine first. Oh my god, what is this, Bob? I don't even know. It looks like some sort of land crab. It looks really futuristic as well. Like, I yeah. don't know. Come check out the crafting recipe for it. Oh my god, Eyes of Ender? Yep, I had to make it see somehow. Wait, Luff, what's this book? Oh, uh, that book allows me to spawn in more than one of mob. Oh, um, give me a second. I just need to go back to my side really quick. Hey, wait, 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 what are you doing? Nothing, nothing. Hey, don't worry, I'm don't worry, don't you. worry. I'm following you, KJ. Quick, quick, you quick, I gotta put this book in I my crafting table. No! Let's go! There we go, Luff, I got five of my mob now. KJ, you can't do that. You just took my book and used it to spawn in four more mobs? What? I need to record that again. I had the egg in my inventory. <laughs> oh, well, I, I, I'll keep that one, so. Okay. Oh, oh my god, Lop, I have five of my mob now. You, you can't just do that. You literally took the item I placed down. I didn't know we were allowed to put books like that in our recipes. Okay, well, now you know, I guess. I'll let it slide. Okay, I'm gonna add I'm all of these to my team. You. All right, well, I'm dropping the wall. Okay, I'm ready. All right, well, I'm dropping the wall in five, four, three, two, one, go! Wait, I didn't drop it. Go! Come on, Goblin Knights, attack! Use your oh spears! Oh my goodness! It looks like they're. Wait! Oh my god, they're doing. What? Yes, yes, come on, come on! No, no, no! You gotta at least take out one! Yes, it took out one! Oh Wait, no! Are your mobs attacking each other? I don't know, it looks like they're kind of putting their spears. No, what? Wait, what? Uh, don't worry about that, Laugh. What just happened? Did it cut your mob in half? Well, you see, you have five mobs, but I technically have ten. What? Oh my gosh, that was my last one! Let's go! The five times book helped me win! Oh my gosh, I should have never shown you my crafting recipe, KJ. Well, you made the mistake of showing it to me, and now I know to use the books! <laughs> no, okay. Well, you won this round, but I won the last round, and I plan on winning the next round. Oh my god, it's so close, it's even right now! Yeah, but we still have three more rounds. And there's an odd number of rounds, so somebody has to win. That's correct. All right, well, let's get rid of all your really overpowered double-playered mobs so we can start the next round. All righty, I'm going to go mute up so you can't hear me anymore, and I'm going to start working on my next mob, okay? Okay. Wait, you broke the wall. Place the wall back. Hey, I'll, I'll put it back. I'll put it back. Okay, okay. Okay, this is our third round, so we're going to have to go quite big for this one. Let's clear out our crafting table and also clear out our inventory because it is really cluttered right now. There are so many blocks in here. We're going to keep this five times book because, oh my god, it's an OP. And let's just put all this on our hot bar so we can get rid of it we want to keep the soul hearts but all of this stuff can go away and for this round i think i am going to try and craft a titan and a titan is like a really op end mob so to craft a titan we are going to need a bunch of black wool and some purple wool so let's get that let's go black wool and i can't type ah purple wool and we have our soul heart and this is a pretty simple recipe because it is an enderman it doesn't have a lot of complex colors so we are just going to quickly craft like this and like this and we kind of have to compress it down because even though this uh, this because even though this crafting 
Because even though this crafting table is massive, we still don't have enough space to fit how tall this mob is going to be. But we could try our best and hopefully it works. And then here we go. And our soul heart just goes in the middle here. And then we do this. And it has massive arms that reach down all of its body. And then like this is the rest of the body. And we can do that there. And this here and then this here and this here and then there's some horns that stick out the side but we don't really have enough space so we're just gonna stick them out one block and then we replace this wall and this wall with the eyes and you can see how squished in this is we have barely have enough space to fit this mob but we have finally finished the recipe so if we close our table and turn around we should see a titan and you know what, before we turn around and finish this recipe, I am actually gonna sneak the book into this craft because I see a boss bar right up there and we are gonna need this book to help us beat this boss. So there we go, just put it at the bottom five times and there should be five of my mob now. Three, two, one. Oh my God, look, there's five Titans. And even though I use purple, they all have different colored eyes. I guess that's just how it works. And we are now ready. So let's get in the call with Laugh and see what he did. Hello, KJ. Hello, hello. What did you do this time? I see a queen bee boss bar. I spawned in a queen bee, but I think it's only fair that we check out your recipe since we checked out mine last okay, time. Okay, right? okay, I'm right here peeking. Alrighty, I'm making my way over. Oh, I missed the jump. Wait, I want to make this jump. You ready for this, KJ? I don't Three, know if you can. Two, one, go! No! One more try. Last one. Yes, I did it! Oh my god, there you go. You did it! Okay, I'm turning around. I'm kind of scared. What mob did you place? Let's look at the recipe. Oh my gosh, what is this, KJ? Wait, you added a five times book? Oh, yeah, no. well, I, I was crafting and I was only gonna make one and then I saw the boss bar and I was like, oh my god I gotta put the book in. Oh My gosh, KJ, this is crazy Your queen bee is gonna have to fight five titans and let's see if they win. Oh My gosh, okay. Well, I'm jumping the wall in five four three two one and go Come on titans run in run in oh, oh. My gosh, KJ, it's time for the fight of the century. Oh my gosh, come on, B, you have to attack. Oh my gosh, what? You guys can't just pick mine up like that. Oh my god, they picked the Queen Bee up. Oh my goodness, KJ, this is going to be absolutely insane. Oh my god, I, I nearly got the boss battle bar halfway down. You just picked up one of my moms? Oh my god, KJ, it just killed one of them. But I don't know if I have enough. I should have spawned more than one. Wait, Wait laugh. I don't think you lost. What do you mean? How did these spawn back in? Well, if you look at your crafty table, laugh. Oh, KJ, you put a five times book in there for me? I fell kind of back because you were getting wrecked. Oh my gosh, well... I don't know if this is gonna help me win, but it is a 4v4 now, so maybe... Oh my god, they're right at the oh. edge! They might fall off! Oh my god! Take the fight off the stage! Let's go! Should I be up top or at the bottom? Uh, there's two bees with one titan up top, and then down bottom, there are three titans and two bees. Come on, you guys got this! Oh my gosh! They got it! Oh but no, that means you won, because the titan at the top's alive! Wait, really? Well, I have three titans down here, and you have two queen bees up there, but my titans can't get to your queen bees, and they're still in the arena. Uh, they kind of just fell. Oh no, well, now they have to fight. Oh no, come on, queen bees. I don't know if you're going to win this. Oh, I have to, come on. No, you guys have come so far, there's no way you lose now. No, there's only one more. Oh, I knew there was no chance I was going to win this against your insane titans. Come on. Oh please. my god, the titans are so OP. I even gave you a chance. Oh my gosh, KJ. You have won this round as well as the last. I'm on a comeback streak. I could win all of the next rounds. Maybe, but I think I'm going to win the next one because I've been keeping a really good mob in store. 
Okay, well, I'm just gonna have to try and count on whatever that mob is. Yep, but no cheating. No, 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 I'm not gonna cheat. No way. Alrighty, well, let's go clean up and head to round number four. Okay, for the fourth round, we need to secure the victory because if we do, then we have won the whole thing because we have two round wins right now. And if we win three rounds, then Love can only win two rounds and we win the whole thing overall. So I'm going to try really hard this round and make a never right monstrosity. And that's going to require quite a lot of blocks. So let's get those now. We are going to need never right blocks and we are going to need lava because there's lava all over its body there's the lava bottles and we're gonna need a few of those but we could just copy them and then we need i believe it's blackstone slabs uh these ones and we need basalt and never brick oh my god this is gonna be such a complicated recipe and while we are never brick we also need never brick fences and then we need uh, blackstone. There we go. There's some blackstone. And our inventory is already getting full. So let's just move all this up. And after blackstone, we are going to need... Uh, I think that's it, actually. We have neverite, blackstone bricks, lava bottles, basalt, never bricks, never brick fence, blackstone. If I forgot anything, I can just get it from the inventory real quick. So we have our soul heart too, and let's get crafting. So the first thing we're going to do is sort of make the legs and they come up up here and around and then here. And that's going to be our basalt legs. And then if we get our slabs, we're going to put the slabs here and some never brick. And then our heart is going to be sort of in the middle here and it is surrounded in lava because this is a lava never mob and then our blocks of neverite are just going to be all around here and here going down to the arms and then here here and here and then we're going to make the face out of neverite blocks too and actually this isn't neverite this is one more down and this is one more down as well and then we do the head like this and the horns come out the side and one horn the horn on the left is longer than the horn on the right and now all we need to do is the arms so we get our slabs like this and then our blackstone like this and finally we finish it off with the never big fences and there we go there is our never right monstrosity and it looks like laugh has got one two three four five boss mobs he's trying really hard to win this round but you know what i think one never right monstrosity is going to be enough to beat five lord skeleton bosses so i'm going to put all my efforts into this one mob and if we close our crafting table and turn around, it's going to be there. Three, two, one. Oh my God, look, there it is. And if we look at our recipe and look at it, it's pretty accurate. We're missing a little bit of lava, but it still seems to work. And look what I mean. This horn is longer than that one. So we are all done. So let's see if Laugh's all done too. He just said he's ready. KJ? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm ready. I'm ready. Oh my gosh, I just heard your mob spawn in and it scared me. Yeah, it has an awesome spawning and noise. It is really scary. Well, can I please see the crafting recipe? Because I, I thought it looked super cool. Okay, look at my mob and now look at my crafting recipe. It's so good. Oh my gosh, KJ, that is absolutely crazy. You got it perfectly. It's a nether brick fence. It made, wow, that is really cool. Well, I see that you spotted five Lord Skeleton bosses, so I want to see your recipe. Yep, I needed to make sure that mine had cool crowns because, I don't know, I like crowns, as you can see, because I'm wearing one. Oh, wow, I see how this recipe makes that mob, and you put a five times book in. <laughs>
<laughs> I did, KJ. After losing last, last, after losing last, after losing last round, I know for a fact I needed to place four, at least five, so I could win this round. Right. Well, I'm so confident in the right monstrosity. I think I'm gonna win anyway. I don't think about that, KJ. I'm gonna win this one. Well, there's we'll only one see. Way to find out. Drop the wall. the wall. I'm dropping the wall in five, four, three. Two, one, go! Yes, go with your rage attack! Oh my goodness, KJ. It looks like you're doing damage, but there is no way you're gonna be able to take all five of my lord skeletons with your single netherite monstrosity. Come on, it just needs to set them on fire and get them stuck. I don't think that's gonna happen, KJ. It looks like I'm absolutely destroying you, but it does seem to be doing a lot of damage, which is very Come scary. Come on, keep doing the slam attack. Don't let them oh get close. Oh my gosh. If it keeps doing the slam attack, it may win. It just needs to surround itself in lava. Come on, where are your tactics? Yes, there we go. It's surrounding itself in lava. It's winning. Oh, KJ, this is very bad because my mobs are taking a lot of damage to the lava. Oh no, they're swimming through it though. They might win. Oh no, I hope so because this is the coolest mob I have ever spawned. No, it no, no, stop moving closer to the edge. See through. <laughs> oh no, KJ, yours is getting low. Oh no, it ran right to the edge. Oh my goodness. Oh, your mob should go back in the lava if it wants to win. No, don't go in the lava. Oh no, it's so low, it's gonna die. Come on, come on, come on! Yes, no! I think they killed it! Oh, look at those boss bars, though. It was so close. It got every single one under half health. Oh, my gosh. It looked like it dropped an item. The Infernal Forge? Holy cow. When, you, when you're holding it, you can hit a block? Wait a minute. What? Oh, my gosh, KJ. This does a lot of damage. Oh, my God. Well, maybe you can use it to kill your mobs. Uh, I don't know about that. My mobs are very strong this round. But we well, your mobs are nothing mob on a killer. mob killer. <laughs> yeah. The mob killer instantly kills everything, including you, KJ. No, no, no. Oh, my God. You kill me. All my inventory. <laughs> okay. So, for the last round, we are going to be using a secret weapon, the OP mob, the Hydra, and... Loft doesn't know this, I think, but he is actually going to probably be unable to kill it because every time he gets hurt, it spawns in another head and it just doesn't die. So this is going to be really OP and ensure that we win this mob battle. So let's get to crafting this. We are going to need a bunch of scales. So if we type in scale, then we can get a bunch of basilisk scale blocks. And then we also need the and then we also need these sea serpent scales and they have yellow eyes so we're going to use some yellow wool and it wouldn't be a hydra without some hydra fangs and we're going to use free hydra hearts instead of soul hearts this time because hydras don't need soul hearts they need hydra hearts it just makes sense and we are going to get the rattlesnake tail to put on to our hydra because it has a nice rattly tail and let's open the crafting table and put our recipe in so let's do the scales first with the shape of the scales it's going to be like this and this is sort of the body of our hydra and then it goes like this and then this is going to be not that i want the fangs there we go that is going to be the three heads that our Hydra starts with and more scales here for the heads and then the yellow eyes in each head and then finally the scales for the top of the head and the tail of the Hydra and now our Hydra recipe is complete so if we close our crafting table and turn around we should see the Hydra three two one. Oh my god look it's a hydra and it isn't really green this time i think we got a different color somehow oh uh, well we might have messed up the color but that's okay it still worked we have a hydra and it looks like laugh is ready so let's start the battle with laugh hello kj hello 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 there is no way you're gonna be able to beat this mob but you do not know what is in store oh my Gosh, KJ, did you spawn in some sort of three-headed snake? 
Yep, yep, yep. This is totally a normal three-headed snake. What do you mean totally normal, KJ? Well, I want to see what your mob is. Show me your recipe. Wait, 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 wait. We didn't get to look at your crafting recipe yet. Okay, okay. Take a look. Take a look. Oh my gosh. Wait, KJ, why are there three empty spots here? Oh, um, oh, that makes sense. It's not green because I messed up the crafting recipe. Oh, what, what do you mean you messed it up? Well, I was really confused why my hydra wasn't green, but I didn't put any green hydra hearts in. Oh, wait, hearts more than one? Yeah, more than one heart because, you know, it has three heads. Oh my gosh. Okay, well, put it in. I want to see. Okay, okay, let me put it in. There we go. One, two, oh and three. Oh my gosh. Is it going to change colors when I exit out? I think it's going to be green now. Oh my gosh, KJ. It's actually green. There we go. That looks like the proper Hydra now. It is a green one. <laughs> no wonder why. It looks so dead without the coloring. Well, thank you for fixing my recipe, love. I didn't realize I messed it up. Okay, well, I'm sorry about what you're about to see. Oh, God. Oh, no. You used your book, didn't you? Yeah, but I used it for more than one. Ten times? Yep, KJ. There are ten of my mobs around this place about to completely destroy your snake. Oh my god, I didn't think about just changing the number on the book. Alrighty, well, are you ready to jump the walls? Yeah, I'm ready. Alrighty, three, two, one, go! Oh my oh god, my they are exploding goodness. our arena! No, they can't do that. Wait, KJ, how would your snake just grown another head? Because it's a hydra, love. It grows more heads. I'm pulling it up here so it can fight my mom. Yeah, your mobs are going to keep putting it in a pit. Let's destroy the bedrock so they can fight each other. Okay, okay, I'm breaking it. I'm breaking it. Oh my god, KJ, this is insane. Wait, is your mob just going to keep getting more heads and each time it gets killed? Uh, well, maybe, but maybe it'll stop when it gets enough heads. Hopefully. Come on, Hydra, come on. Oh my gosh, no, don't hit it off the map. No, no, no. Oh my gosh, KJ, one of our mobs is destroying the map, but I think it might be mine. I think it is your mob. It's getting stuck on the bedrock. No, 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 don't hot the, knock the Hydra out the map. Oh, come on, knock it off. Okay, KJ, let's see this happen because it looks like you're winning, but you're also losing at the same time. Wow, my Hydra is growing multiple heads, so I think I'm safe. Oh, uh, I don't know about that. I still have five more of my robots. No way do your five robots beat my Hydra. Come on, your Hydra does so much damage. Look, it's just chomping up your robots. Oh my goodness, KJ. How did you spawn in such a crazy mob? I told no, you I had a surprise mob. Map. Come on, don't hit him off the map. Get back on. Attack. Yes, keep attacking. I don't no, think come on, Hydra. From that distance. Come on, get in there. Come on, keep going. Where's your mob going? I don't know. I think it's trying to find a way up. Oh my gosh, KJ. No, it's going after my last two. No, no, There we no, go. I found a way really to bad. get to them. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, get back at him! Come on! No! No, don't hit him off! No! Come on now! Oh my god, stay chance. on the map! Stay on the map! Hit him off! No! Let's go! Oh my gosh, KJ! There is no way you just won with a hydra that constantly got more snake heads as it went. Yep, well, Laugh, I actually have something to show you. What? Look at this. If I get this OP sword with sharpness 5 and just keep attacking the Hydra... Is anything going to happen? Well, it just loses heads and keeps getting them. But look at what happens if I do this. Wait, you gave yourself fire aspect on the sword? But it doesn't look like it's dealing fire damage. Hmm. Maybe it doesn't take fire damage from my sword, but what if we pour lava all over it? What are you doing to your mob? Well, it keeps growing its heads back, right? But if it's encased in lava, do you not know the myth about the Hydra? No, I don't. What is it? Well, you're meant to burn its heads off so that they don't grow back. Oh, really? So I want to see if we can lava. burn it. It looks like it's working. Is it working? Is its heads not growing back? 
Yeah, they're going away. Okay, well, maybe we can kill the Hydra with this. Oh my gosh, KJ. I should have chosen a fire mob for this battle then. Yep, to beat the Hydra, all you need is a mob that can do lava like my Neverite monstrosity. No, I should have done that. Oh, if only I knew the crafting recipe for it. Look, it only has one head and it's about to die. Oh no, how did I get that bad of a mob? I couldn't even beat this simple one. All I needed was fire and it would have completely died. Are you kidding? Even in fire though, it looks like it doesn't die that much. That's weird. I think it has a lot of health, Laugh. Oh my goodness. Well, can I try and kill with the mob killer? Yeah, yeah, see if it dies. Oh, I think it did. Well, maybe we should ban the Hydra in future mob battles because that is one really <laughs> OP mob. That was a crazy overpowered mob, KJ. You are right. Okay, well, that was a good crafting mob battle. Well done, love. But ultimately, I am the victor. Oh, okay. Well, how about this? I'll give you a crown, but you have to be like, I ah, because I'm going to drop it in the lava in three, two, one. Good luck catching that. Uh, come on, come on, come on. I caught it. I caught it. No way. What? Let's go. Oh, my gosh, KJ. Subscribe well, because I caught the crown. <laughs> oh, my. Let's clean up the arena and go to the outro. Okay. Slight problem. You don't have a template, do you? Thank you so much for watching today's video. If you enjoyed, make sure to subscribe. And if you have any mob ideas or crafty recipes we should try out, comment them below and comment which your favorite mob was. I'm going to be completely honest, KJ. Mine had to be the Hydra because it grew an infinite amount of snake heads, which is kind of crazy. My favorite mob was the Neverite Monstrosity because I think my crafting recipe for that was pretty insane. Yeah, I don't know how you knew exactly how to craft that. Wait, love, well, what's this floating boat? Uh, let's go sail off into the distance. Thank oh my god, watching. we can fly!